Good morning, everyone. I'm doing a pop-up live stream because I need to go through my patriotic decor. It's a little windy, so I'm not sure how the sound is going to be. But I thought I'd be able to do this for my phone because I did hit a thousand subscribers. Woo -woo. But then it says there might be some delay. Gotta love that, YouTube. So I decided I'm going to go on on my computer. And um, there's been a lot of interest in how I store all of my seasonal decor and my yard sale finds. So really, there's nothing major to it. I um, store it in tubs and then... Oh, my, my hubby took my label off. So I have these storage totes. They're just the kind that you get at Target. And I have like a big one for patriotic and then like smaller ones for some of like Valentine's Day. I don't have a very big one, but, and then I put tags on them that are like the season, you know, like a flag. This one should have a flag. I'm not sure what happened to it. Hubby might've removed it. We usually leave them on and I have a Velcro system. I just get little Velcro strips. Good morning, Katie. How are you? It's gorgeous out. So I usually put Velcro strips on these tubs so that I can switch the labels. Cause sometimes like at the end of the summer, you know, I might put, I might be putting out my fall decor. So I might put my patriotic decor into a fall tub. So this way, if I keep the little Velcro strips then I can just switch the labels. So at some point I'm going to make a video about that but that's what I'm doing. So right now I have my big patriotic tub and I'm just going to go through it. Good morning, let me know if you're here. I see Katie's here. Who, who uh, decorates for patriotic holidays? Does anyone else? I never really did a ton until I moved into this bigger home. We just didn't have room to store um, a lot of holiday decor. So we really kept it to like some fall and then a lot of Christmas. But now that we have a bigger house, I figure eh, why not? Cause I love patriotic decor and I used to do it in our old house. And um, I already, hello, Jenny. How are you? Good morning. Um, I am usually drinking coffee, but I drank my coffee this morning. So this morning I'm drinking mermaid water. It's pink. It's actually strawberry lemonade from Target. Okay, so let's start going through. So when I go through decor, I'm thinking about this particular year. So not every year. I don't always put out everything every year. This year, I definitely want to do some patriotic vignettes. Um, you, you guys on this channel have not seen my home tour yet, but there is a uh, bookshelf in my living room. So we have a, like a great room and in that great room are connected the living room, the dining room and the kitchen. And then off of that, we have a family room. So in the family room, I don't really do patriotic decor or shamrock decor. You know, like I don't really switch for the, for the smaller holidays. So that room won't really get anything. The patriotic decor will be focused on the living room. I have my front porch done and then the living room, I'll do that bookcase. And then I'll also do probably some things on my kitchen island and maybe in the kitchen, the kitchen is kind of gonna be more strawberries, but I do also want to decorate the top of my hutch with patriotic. So it's always good to have in mind like what you're going to be decorating this way. When you're going through, you can kind of be like, ah, so I have two boxes next to me. I have one for donate. So anytime you're going through, you want to give yourself the option of getting rid of stuff. I always say you never, you're not obligated to hold on to anything unless you really like it, unless you think you'll use it either this year or next year. So I have a box for getting rid of stuff. Oh, let me see. Good morning to in New Jersey. Hi. <laughs> What's the weather in New Jersey? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous here in Minnesota. It's like, I don't know, Katie, do you think it's like 70? 70 degrees today. Donna Wall. I decorate with patriotic decor. I love it. Awesome. Um, Donna, what rooms do you use your patriotic decor? Like, or do you keep it to like a certain little, like a shelf or, you know, a hutch or do you go all out? I'm just curious to know what people do. So I'll be doing a bookcase. I'll be doing my kitchen island and my, my dining room hutch. So my decor will be in my, um, my great room. Let's see. Margie. Oh, yay. Oh, the season is almost over. Okay. Not nice today. Probably going to rain. Okay. Bergen Pines, we might have sent you our rain. We've had some rain and some really cool. Yesterday, it was like 64 or 65 degrees. It was chilly. We like brought out sweatshirts. So, okay. So let's start going through. I have this little guy. And so I'm thinking on my bookshelf, I want to do a vignette. If anyone's not familiar with a vignette, it's just when you put kind of like different elements together to create like 
a picture almost like something you'd see on Instagram. And I like to do vignettes. They're just really pleasing to my eye. It's something I enjoy. So, and it's really creative. It's a very creative process. So as I'm going through my bin, I'm thinking about what might I want to use in a vignette. I'm definitely going to want to do a vintage patriotic vignette. So, um, okay. Nice here in Oklahoma at 74 high. Great. That's awesome. 70 degrees here in Minnesota. Okay. And so this I'm going to definitely use in my vignette. Now, these I have, which I adore. Someone might have sent these to me. These are those vintage bells. These I am going to hang, but like I go all in on the fourth where I'll actually like decorate, like we're having a party. Usually we'll have a barbecue that is not happening this year, but um, I'm still going to decorate. We can have our own barbecue for ourselves. But um, so I'm going to keep these in my box of things that I'm going to use this year for like on the 4th of July, I'll pull out these and probably hang them in the archway between my dining room and my family room. Hi, Maine. Oh, it's rainy in Maine. Okay, awesome. I mean, you know, it's good for the flowers. <coughs> Does it get really hot in Maine? I've only been to Maine once. Um, okay, now this is a this miss got misfiled. <laughs> this is not patriotic. This I probably found at the end of the summer. I did a lot of yellows last year. And um, so this is probably what this was from. And I was like, oh, I had already packed up all my yellow stuff. And I know that because I found it in a different summer bin. Um, and I probably had forgotten to pack this up. So that's why this made it into the patriotic bin. But that's fine because it is a summer item. I am getting rid of my yellows. I had incorporated yellows and I just decided I'm not really into them. You know, I'm going coast with the coastal theme and the aqua. Aqua is a standard for me. I love that color. I like greens with it in the spring. And then I like to incorporate strawberries. I know aqua and red seems weird, but I like that. It's very vintage. So I like the way the aqua and the strawberries look. Not making room for yellow. So I'm going to put this one in my donate bin. And I'll either donate it. This one I might actually sell. It's a Harker wear. Um, that's a vintage plate for anyone who's not familiar. So this is going to go into my getting rid of bin. All right, I've got some napkins. These I'll probably use. These were just from the Dollar Tree. And again, this is some random stuff that got put in the bin, but these we'll just use for, you know, as napkins. Okay, now here's Holly Hobby. Let's see. Hello from Montana. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. Southern California in the 90s. Yuck. Ooh, love your channels. Okay, I have family in San Diego. Um, my husband's sister and um, her Ugh, sorry, my husband's sister lives in, um, is it San Diego? It's a suburb of San Diego. And um, so we've never been there, but now they've decided they're moving back to New Jersey. I haven't had a chance to talk about talk to them about it yet. But um, yeah, so we never got to visit them and now they're leaving. So, wow, Hillary. Okay, Maine can get to, I never knew that, 102. That's hot. That's hot even for Minnesota. We don't really break 100. Katie, do you think we break 100? Katie is also from Minnesota. That's why I keep asking her things. Um, we don't really break 100. I don't Maybe on very, very rare occasions. Hey, Jamie. Jamie, I just decided to do a, I have to work in about 40 minutes, but I decided to do a pop-in, a pop-up chat because I really want to go through my patriotic decor because Jamie and I and Robin Johnson, Robin Johnson is hosting a home tour next week and I need to get, need to get my game on. So I, it, I need to go through this stuff so that when I'm done working today, I can actually decorate and I'll probably make a video of that for this channel. Um, but I was like, well, if I can get this done before I have to work, that'll be good. And I might as well hang out with you guys while I do it. All right. Good morning, Jean. Hi, Lynn. Okay. So this is Holly Hobby. Um, and in my craft room slash Maddie's bedroom, I was doing a lot of Holly Hobby. However, I've had to pack that up because Maddie is now, because of the pandemic, Maddie is back from college. She wasn't going to live here at home this summer. She was supposed to get an apartment and all the plans changed. So my craft room is currently serving as her bedroom. So I'm pack I've packed up my Holly Hobby stuff just until that room is back to being my craft room again. So I'm not going to put Holly Hobby out, although I might, she might be cute in a vintage vignette. I'm going to keep her as a maybe. So I'm going to put her in my box of things I might use. Okay. Let's see what else I've got. I'm sorry if the paper sounds bother anyone. That's what I thought, Katie. We hardly ever break a hundred. Ah, okay. These are not patriotic either. I am just leading you guys astray. I guess this is a, you know, random at the end of the summer. I packed everything up. This is my cabbage dish. 
I love this thing. Oh, I remember I found this at a sale at the end of the summer. So I am going to use this, but it's not patriotic. That'll probably, that needs to go somewhere else. Okay. I've got this and this is a cross stitch project. I actually made this and I bring it out every year. I think this will look nice in a patriotic vignette. So this is going to go into the box of things I'm going to use. All right. What else do we have? Okay. I've got a book and I like this book for patriotic because look at the um, spine of it. So this is another thing you can do in a vignette. You can stack things, you know, so if I had like a cute little cup or even like something like this, whoopsie, I can, I can make a little vignette if I had a larger item here and then set that on there and that makes a cute little vignette somewhere in the house. So I love cabbage dishes too, Hillary. I actually, you'll see, I'm uploading a thrift haul in my, uh, on my other channel this afternoon and um, I found smaller cabbage dishes, but there was a lot of crazing and Crazing always makes me nervous. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if you're supposed to use them once there's a lot of crazing. So I did leave them behind, but they were really cute. Um, I try to collect dishes that I can actually use because otherwise, I don't know. I'm a little bit pr of a pragmatist in my thrifting. So let's see. Oh, that's so funny, Jean. She likes, Jean likes the crinkling. Good. I'm glad it's not offending you. Some people get really mad on videos if you have paper crinkling. But anyway, so I'm going to keep the book and the little house. I think that's cute. All right. Let's see. All right. I've got this. It's a little plaque. It says freedom. It's very tired looking. I think I bought this for a Goodwill challenge before I was ever um, doing YouTube videos. I used to do the $5 Goodwill challenge, uh, like just for myself at home. And I got this, but it is looking really tired. It's, hmm, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I, might, I probably have a lot nicer things at this point. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. This is probably, I could redo it. I, do, I definitely could redo it, but it is carved in. I don't know. We're going to keep this as a maybe. I may redo it or I might, uh, I might pass it along. And then I have this little thing. I like to pick up things like this because, again, they're nice to tuck into, like, a tiered tray. So this is going to be a keep. And this is – I'm going to put this in the donate um, bin for now, and then I can decide. I can decide to keep it. I can always change my mind, right? Okay. What else we got? And I do a lot of strawberries. I do them in with my patriotic decor. So you're going to see here some of my strawberry items as well. Oh, another cabbage. This is the dip part of that dish. This is the that goes with the cabbage plate. So again, that's going to go somewhere else. Okay, now we've hit some strawberries because I love the way strawberries look. Flags. I just think the two motifs are really lovely together, and they scream summertime to me. So that's why um, I I pack my strawberry stuff and my patriotic stuff. You know, sometimes they get mixed in. Um, I will usually keep the strawberries out a little bit longer than the patriotic decor. When do you guys pack yours up? Jo Joanna says she likes the crinkling as well. That's right. It's like you're sitting right next to me. I'm going through the stuff with me. So um, I, I, again, I said I was getting rid of my yellows, which I am, but I can't seem to get rid of my lemon things. I really still like the lemons. And usually what happens in my house is I'll pack up my strawberries and my flag stuff. I'll put lemons out for like a month. Excuse me, my nose is a little itchy. And then I'll move on to fall. So, you know, I don't know. That's just that's just how I work it. Um, okay, she keeps her, Lynn keeps her patriotic decor up until she decorates for fall. I, I take mine down sometime in July. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie, that's why I usually um, pack everything away because my, my patriotic decor can be a little like, um, cluttery. You know, some people call it that. I like it, but you know, I know that some people think that. So then I like to have a break and like put it all away and then just put a few lemon things out um, in the time of between like, like probably mid July end of July and like, er like early September is when I usually bring my fall out. Yes. Hi, Kate. Kate is a friend of mine. 
She is also in, in Minnesota. So anyway, so these are definitely a keep and also this one for now. I haven't gone through my strawberry stuff yet. Again, some of it's here and I do actually have another tub of strawberry stuff. So um, I don't know that I'll necessarily use all of it. I got so much stuff last year and people were sending me things. So, okay. So this is really cute. This I will probably, it's just, um, I think it's a pillowcase, but I don't use it as a pillowcase. I just usually fold it like this. And then it almost looks like a dishcloth and you can like set it over something like that in a vignette. So that's what I usually do with that. I like it because it has the red, white, and blue. It does have purple. But the purple doesn't matter because, um, you know, you don't really see it. So also, can you guys see me okay? Because I really wanted to use my phone this morning and YouTube would not let me. Even though I have more than a thousand subscribers, it's still saying I'm not allowed. So I hope you can see me okay. The bright sunshine usually helps. My webcam, I guess, is not that great. So sorry if I'm, if I'm blurry. Okay. Oh, this I adore. Oh, I love to put this in the kitchen. I don't wear this apron as much. I prefer full aprons. Do you guys still wear aprons? Um, I always wear aprons because I'm very messy, like for crafting or gardening or cooking. I'm always wearing aprons, but I like the ones that like have the bib. But this one, I usually hang this on the pantry door. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, good. Lynn says she can see me. Oh, good. I'm glad I'm clear today. Awesome. Thanks for letting me know. And Margie says she takes she puts hers takes hers down in August. Good, good, good. So this goes into the keep bin. All right. Okay, this is another cute item for vignettes. It's just a little star thing. It's dusty. Sorry, ladies. I, I packed it away and didn't dust it last year. Whoopsie daisy. You know, these are the secrets. I am not the best, like at like cleaning to be honest with you like my clean and decorates i i clean because you have to clean like you have to eat broccoli you have to clean you know your house would be gross if you didn't so that's why i clean i know some people really really enjoy it and jamie is a lot better at it than i am um but you know whatever what can you do so i will dust this when i put it out i'll make sure everything goes out clean so all right what else do we have here All right, I have this little pillow. This is cute. Uh, I'm not sure where I'll put it. I'm going to think on this. This is a keep for now. I'm just not sure. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, this is cute. I remember this. See, and it's good to, like, remember what you have so that you know, if, like, am I looking for anything specific? This is just a twins thermos. You know, I have a thing for thermoses. Oh, and that's the other thing that's not in this tub. And that'll be like a big part of that white bookshelf. will have my vintage thermoses, all the ones that are like red, white, and blue. Um, my cat is my duster. You're funny, Kate. Um, so this is just a twins thermos. It actually came with a lunchbox. I don't have the lunchbox, but I mean, when it was originally sold, there was a lunchbox with it. And I like to just stick it on my shelf. I usually take the lid off and stick some flowers in it and maybe like a flag. It's just cute. You know, like that. That's what I mean. I know I'm not a streamlined decorator and minimalists would have my head, but I never claim to be a minimalist at all. <laughs> so, and people are like, how do you dust it? I'm like, I get a rag and I dust it. I don't understand why that's so like, I mean, even like a really a really busy shelf, like my white shelves that have all my ironstone, it takes me 10 minutes to dust it. I don't know. And plus we keep really good um, filters on our furnace. Like you can get really good filters and that like I think takes care of a lot of the dust because my house is just not that dusty. Although I have noticed it's more dusty now with people, with more people in it. What's this? Oh, I never got to use this. Someone sent this to me. Someone made this and sent it to me. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. So this will definitely go in a vignette. I love this thing. I think that was a giveaway at a game. Okay. Oh, really? Kate said the thermos that I just showed you, the twin thermos, was a giveaway at a game. And it has Joe Maurer, who I was a fan of. Um, although he, I don't think he plays for us anymore. I don't know. I've lost track of baseball, given that there's not really baseball <laughs> right now. So, 
Um, but anyway, yes, I love this thing. This is definitely going to go into a vignette. I get, I, I was very smart. I kept it wrapped because you see the amount of glitter on it. It's actually, she did a pretty good job. I might put a coat of Mod Podge over just to, um, prevent it from glittering my space, but this is definitely going to get used. It has definitely glittered my pants. So this I will use in a vignette. Oh, here's my label. I just found it. It came off. So this is what I put on the sides of my tubs. And then Chris keeps this facing out so that he can see it. So apparently I didn't have any like white cardstock when I made these, but this is just, you know, and then they're switchable. This this one isn't. This one doesn't have the Velcro on it, so I'm defeating what I'm telling you. But normally, this would have a Velcro square on it, and then I could just switch it as I switch tubs. So, All right, what else do we have here? Oh, he's cute. Okay, he's cute. Um, This is actually a vintage Parmesan shaker. And I forget the name of it. Um, I can't remember. He has a chip in his ear. I don't think I'm going to put him in my patriotic decor because uh, he got a chip. Like my children dropped him. You know, that happens. Um, he's so cute though. Look at his little face. But I uh, I feel guilty letting him go, you know, but I know he's not alive, even though he has such a cute face. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to put him in the donate bin or Possibly I could put him out in the garden, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to put him in my patriotic decor. So he's going to go in the donate bin. All right. What else we got? Oh, let's see. We've got. Bye, Jamie. Oh, yes, Hillary. I'm going to bring out my plaid cooler as well. Those are so adorable. Okay. This is another strawberry item. And again, I'm not really going through the strawberry items yet until I see it all together because I don't really remember everything that I have. These are probably things that I thrifted at the end of the summer, I'm guessing. And so I'm going to put all my strawberry stuff together and then go through it. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. That's cute. I think I remember buying that at Goodwill. I'm not sure I want this, though. Hmm. You know, sometimes, oh, this went with a, this went with something. I'm having a memory, a thrifting memory. Um, I feel like this went with like a teapot or something. I'm going to set this aside until I can figure it out. Oh, this I love. This is another strawberry item. Again, not making any decisions on strawberry items yet. Because I need to see everything together. Oh, this is cute. My mother-in-law sent this to me. This is, you know, um, like the, the uh, what was that called? Not rustic, um, primitive. When primitives were really in style. Um, so it has like a can, it holds a candle. But I, I still like primitives. He, he would be cute in the garden, right, Jenny? Yeah, he has a really cute face. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, oh, okay, Margie. So... YouTube won't let you live stream from your phone until you have a thousand subscribers. Now I have a thousand subscribers, but there was a disclaimer on there that even after you have a thousand subscribers, you still might not be able to do it for a while. Cause I think they're just delayed in like reviewing stuff or something. I don't know. So, so the, the primitive piece I'm going to keep, I think this will be cute in a vignette. All right. Oh, Oh, this is a good one. Guys, I'm not getting rid of a lot. That's what happens. You know, what can you do? This is cute. Look at that. It's not vintage. Oh, the, the lighting is, is weird because of the sun. So this is red and this is blue stars. If you can't see it, um, tie pro, I don't know what that is, but this is adorable in a vignette as well. And then I have a little uncle Sam. These go on a tiered tray. Cute, cute, cute. So these are going in the keep bin. All right, we're getting to the bottom here. Actually, that's not true. We are, I can see the bottom, but there's still a lot in the tub. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't remember why I had this. It's just an enamelware piece. Uh, it's not doing much for me right now. Looks like I paid 99 cents for it. I'm gonna put this in the donate bin. 
That's, it's really not. I have other things I like more now. You know, and that's the great thing about thrifting decor. You don't ever have to feel guilty about like getting rid of stuff because, you know, if you pay 99 cents for a bowl and I used it last year and now I'm like, eh, I don't really like it anymore. So I donate it back. It's 99 cents. I mean, you spend $4 on a cup of coffee or even $2 if you go to McDonald's. So for a year, I used a bowl. I'm donating it back. They get to resell it. And uh, I don't have clutter that I'm not going to use. So I like my, all the clutter I have is stuff I want to have. That's the key. I don't think you have to be a minimalist, but you just have to be willing to get rid of stuff you're not really into anymore. This I got at a yard sale last year. So these are called Dala horses and it's a very like Swedish motif. And Minnesota is a very um, Norwegian, Swedish, uh, Scandinavian place. So I like to pick up like you know, Scandinavian decor when I find it. And I thought this was really cool because it's Scandinavian, but it's also red, white, and blue. Um, Hillary, hi. Okay. I'll put that in my live sale. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing another one. Um, so for those of you who weren't there, I did a live sale. It's basically like a, a, a yard sale online. And then you pay like a price for the item and then you pay to ship it to your house. Uh, but it's really fun. It, they're a lot of work though, because then at the, you know, the next day you have 50 items that you need to pack up and ship. So, and because I have a full-time job, like it's just a lot of work. So I do want to do another one, but I might have to change my day. Like the last time I did one on a Sunday, which was great, but then like I work the next day and it was really stressful trying to get everything packed. Like, and it just, it took me several days um, to get it done. So I might have to like do it on like a Thursday instead. Um, but I'm planning. I'm thinking about it, Hillary, and I will put that in there. Okay. Leather and jade arts. My grandmother collected them. The Dala horses. Nice. So, yeah. So, this will be used either flat somewhere on a table or something, under something, or I will fold it again and hang it. Well, if I did that, then the Dala horses might be. So, I'll probably put it as a placemat under. So, this is going in the keep bin. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Moving right along. Oh, uh, these were another summer item. I'm not keeping these. My daughter was really into ice cream for a long time, and I bought these for her. There's probably four of them in this tub. And I felt bad about getting rid of them because they remind me of her childhood. But you know what? They're not entirely practical because for little kids, they're not, they're kind of like tipsy, tipsy turvy, topsy turvy. That's what I mean. Not tipsy, topsy turvy. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to keep these because no one uses them. I, it was more like I was feeling sentimental, but I'm okay getting rid of them because even if I had grandkids, they can't use them. They're breakable. So it's not a super practical item. So I'm going to put these, and if I find any other, I'm going to put them in the donate bin. Oh, here's another one. I'm going to keep them wrapped now that I know what they are. And I do sometimes rewrap my stuff going to the donate bin because I'd like people to like be able to use the things, you know. You don't want to like get your stuff to Goodwill and have it all break. And also, I haven't been donating. Now that I go to the bins, well, I haven't been back to the bins. But now that I know, like, how a lot of the Goodwill stuff lines up, I'm like, I don't know. It just all gets thrown. So I've been bringing my stuff to this little thrift store that's, um, like, church run. And I see my, like, I also shop there. So I'll go in and I'll see my stuff there a lot of times. And so I feel like, oh, I know it's actually, like, getting to the shelves and they're benefiting from it. So Okay, this is really cute. This is not vintage. This is just a modern piece. Liberty, Justice, Hope. I really like the words. And it's by Expressly Yours. So I don't know if that's like a big chain or if that's like a little shop around here. I'm not sure. But I did. I think I found this at a sale last year at a yard sale. So, so that's going in the keep bin. All right. What's this? Oh, that's cute. That's a strawberry item. Again, remember, I'm not going through strawberries right now. Not until I have it all together. This is cute. This is nice for a tiered tray. Again, this is another primitive piece. But the primitives are cute for 4th of July, I think. I, you know, I know a lot of people are, like, very into all white in their homes, and that's fine. It's a personal choice, but I do still like color, and I prefer, like, the aged kind of, you know, kind of stuff. So that's just a personal choice. Oh, I got to check the chat. Okay. Wait, let's see. I'm with Hillary Child. Wait, I missed something. Child labor. Let me let me scroll up. Let's see. Sell your home. You haven't collected them. What was child labor, Hillary? I missed something. 
I put my children to work, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, you're saying put the kids to <laughs> That is true. The thing about, like, putting the kids to work on the live sale is um, I'm really particular about how I ship things because I really want things to get to wherever they're going in one piece. And I feel like the kids don't really know enough about that yet. So um, they would. That is true, Joanna. The bins are depressing. The bins were depressing, and now I hear they're kind of depressing even more. Um, I haven't been back. I'm actually thinking of going if they're um, requiring masks because the bins is different than like a normal. If you've never been to the bins, so what I'm talking about, if you're not a thrifter, the Goodwill Outlet bins, Goodwill Outlet is where all like their stuff goes, um, like from the stores that either doesn't sell or like if they get too much or whatever. And you just basically go into this room and there's these big bins and you're all digging through them and everyone's like kind of up in each other's business. And it, it's just like, you're breathing on each other. But I do hear that they've implemented some um, policies now where like you, you snake through the room and you like, you get a limited amount of time at each bin and then you switch to the next one. So if you miss it, you kind of miss that bin. You don't go back. So I don't know. I haven't been there. I'm going to check it out and see what I think, but. But yeah, so I'm going to keep this. What do you guys, do you like primitive still or not really? I'm just curious to know what everyone's opinion is. Don't worry, you're not going to insult me if you don't like primitive, but it's totally fine. Like, we're all entitled to our opinions. They said one person per, per bin last time. Did you, Kyla, did you go? Okay, now I have a duplicate. I have a double. So this I will donate. I have one with a lid and one without. I'm going to donate this one because I definitely don't need two of the same thing. So I'm going to wrap that back up. All right. All right. Hillary, I'm going to make you a moderator since you're here. Uh, add moderator. This way, if we get any trolls... You can uh, get rid of them since Jamie left. Oh, is Kate a moderator? Did I make Kate a moderator? Kate. Nope. Kate, I'm making you a moderator. I don't know if you're still here, but. All right. Oh, you're working. Okay. Well, that's okay. You're a moderator, though. You went last week. It was a waste of time. One person per bin. It was mostly clothing. Of course, for some people, the, the rules didn't apply. Oh, that's awful. I don't like that when people don't follow the rules. Okay. What have we got? Oh, this is interesting. You know, I bought this last year and then everyone made fun of me because they said it looked like a, I can't say the word, but an apparatus for like illegal activities. And so I'm going to donate this back to the world. Um, even though I thought it was cute. I don't know. It's a blown glass piece. I thought it was cute for patriotic, but you know, whatever. It's okay. I don't need people thinking I've got apparatuses in my house. That's for sure. Oh, this is cute. I think my mother-in-law sent me this one as well. Um, yeah, this and that. I like that, Annette. This and that. A little bit of farmhouse, a little bit of primitive, a little bit of country. I would say this is probably country. I like these like that are like Warren Kimball style paintings. I think that's cute. And again, this can be hung. You can put flowers in it. It, it's meant to hold candles so that it would light up. I probably wouldn't use it for that. But you could put flowers in it. You could stand it on a shelf behind your vignette. So a lot of options for this. You could just put um, boxwood, you know, the greenery that's really popular now. You could do that. So I'm going to keep that. Whoopsie. All right. What else do we have here? Oh, this feels lightweight. Oh, this is another one. The same person who made me that other piece made me this one as well. And I have not gotten to use this yet. So I think it's really cute. This will be great on a tiered tray. Isn't that cute? Now, oh, I might have to finish the back, depending on where I use it. If I used it on my kitchen tiered tray, I'd have to do something to the back. I could just probably paint it white and then it would look finished. Woo! My papers are blowing. Blowing. At least it's just paper, and if it gets away from me, it will decompose. But okay, so that is staying. Don't want it to break. All right, moving through the box. Oh, I love this. This I found last year at a sale or at Goodwill. Is that Goodwill? Or that might be a little thrift store. It was ninety nine cents. Not too shabby. Isn't that cute? It's like a. 
it was from France. It's like a jelly jar. So I looked up the word last year. I think it was like a jelly jar or something. But this is really cute with um, flags in it. Look how cute that is. I mean, it just, it's adorable. Love it. Love strawberries and flags together. However, I'm going to put this with my strawberry pile here. Okay. Oh, another strawberry item. I don't know what it is. Looks like it's the top to something. Um, thank you, Patricia. That's right, Sandra. I'm the same way. YouTube is a little aggressive about like having to choose a style. And if you don't do farmhouse, you don't do well on YouTube a lot of times, unfortunately. But, you know, whatever. I can't be bothered with that. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Um, okay, this is really cute. I got this at a yard sale. Nope, I'm wrong. I got this at a thrift store last year, and I didn't get to use it. Um, it's a picture frame. I don't know that I'll use it as a picture frame. I might put, like, some scrapbooking paper that's in, like, a patriotic theme in here and, um, you know, put it on a shelf. So that's cute. I like that. And it goes with my coastal th theme. That is, I have chosen, like, that's coastal cottage is what I'm calling it. Because here's what was happening in my decor. So my family room is coastal. My The great room was like kind of farmhouse, kind of country, a lot of black and white, which I like. But again, I was feeling pressure from like the YouTube world. I don't even know. It just happens. I don't know. Anyway, and then the entryway was just terrible. <laughs> so I decided I love coastal. I'm from the Jersey Shore. I know I live in Minnesota and there's no beaches here, but we have plenty of lakes. And I just like the lightness of the coastal cottage style. So that's what I'm going with. I'm unifying the space. And not every room in my house has to be that style. If I want to do farmhouse somewhere in a bathroom or whatever, and my bedroom is definitely farmhouse, I can do that, you know. But for the public spaces, I just want them to feel unified. And so that's what I'm going with right now. Who knows? Next year I might change my mind. But again, because I do, you know, thrifted decor, it doesn't matter. If I change my mind next year, it's not a big deal. I am a seashore girl for sure, Hillary. Okay. Live on a farm. My decor is mostly vintage and some farmhouse. Awesome. Bury that lid in your strawberry garden with the strawberry singing. That's a great, <laughs> that's a great idea. Oh, the bunnies. They have been laying off my garden a little bit. I hope the bunny is okay. Like I, I, I joke, like we so, oh, I got video of him. I'll have to put it up in a video. We got footage of him last week, but he seems to be taking it like, easy on my plants. He must have found somewhere else to eat. It's not just mine anymore. Thank you, Jenny. So yeah, so we're going to keep this. Okay, and then these, I can't show you because it has private information, but I'll just show you this. These are my husband's merit badges from when he was a kid. So I like to put these in a flower frog and put them on a in a display. Um, because look at the, the symbols are really cool. But it has like the name, his address from where we grew up and all that good stuff, which I don't need to have on YouTube. Okay, and then this will also go in a vignette. This is really cute. To Donna, world's number one teacher from Jane. And it does seem like I'm keeping a lot of stuff, but I also, I do go through things when I put things away. If I'm like, oh, that did not work. I did not like that. Um, you know, so I probably went through a lot of this last year, but now I'm sorting to know like, oh, I'm really going to use this or I'm not. Two strawberry trays. These are cute. Can keep them for now. Looks like I paid 99 cents for each. I have sold some of these online. Not um, not strawberry ones, but floral ones. These these little like snack trays came in all different prints. Um. Okay. These are cool. I like this. I did use this last year. I'm having a hard time showing you. Um. It's got roses. This is red, but uh, I'm not sure. This one I might put in my live sale. I don't know. It's not doing it for me. It's, it's not a bright red, and I'd rather... I have ones with strawberries on it, and I'd rather use those. I don't do a lot with roses. So I think I'm going to put this in the donate bin. I do love it, though. It's very pretty. But it's just not... Uh, it's not not fitting in with what I'm going for anymore, I think. So that's going to go in the donut, donate bin or the live sale, whatever. Whichever it winds up at. <clears throat> okay. 
This I will hold on to for now. This is nothing, you know, it's just a mainstays plate. I paid 25 cents for it at a um, thrift store at the end of the season. Clearly, I did not wash it yet. Sorry, ladies. Um, I need to put it through the dishwasher. But I like to pick up, like, plates in the right colors because you can put these behind things. You can use them in a stack. I need to clean this off, clean this up. Um, but this I will keep for now, and then, you know, I can always decide later. All right, what's this one? Oh, this was funny. This I'm probably going to get rid of. I think I found this at the bins. I like it because it's vintage, but, uh, and I think I used it next to the thermos, but now that I have, like, all those cool actual thermoses, I don't need this anymore. So, Tom Thumb, I think was a, so one of you Minnesotans can tell me, I think this was a convenience store. It never existed. Um... Hillary, you have never seen the strawberries. Okay, I'll definitely show them. You'll see them in my either in my house or, or I'll do. I'm, I'm probably going to do a decorate with me when I actually put everything out. And you'll see them then. But I'm going to get rid of the Tom Thumb mug. I don't really see a need for it. All right. Oh, okay. Here's the other plate. Yeah, see, I have two of them. And they make a good. So it was a, it was a grocery store. Okay. <laughs> Tracy, <laughs> you're so funny. They went away in the mid-90s. Okay. Here's another plate that I'm going to put and, you know, wash them off. Oh, this is cute. I love this. These are my kids. Um, back when they were little, I thought this was the cutest, most, like, Americana. I used to dress them up for 4th of July. The, this is not them, in, but this is, like, near the... Oh, oh. Yeah, so you can kind of see in this one they're dressed up. Look at Hannah in her little red, white, and blue dress, and Gabe has a flag shirt, Molly has flag shorts, and Maddie's in all red, white, and blue. So this one was back in New Jersey, 2005. Hannah was probably a baby, but they're drinking Coca-Cola, and they have American flags. I mean, does it get any more Americana than that? And then um, this one is here in Minnesota. That's our first house here in Minnesota, so this is probably like 2008, I would guess. Okay. Oh, no, Margie, I work at home, but I have an office set up and I try to like cut my day and say like, okay, I'm going to go work now. I mean, my boss is not checking in on my hours, but you know, just to keep it like separate. And so the kids know, don't bother mom, she's working kind of thing. So I kind of have like a set time that I want to start um, working by. I'm actually a little past it right now, but that's okay. I'll go a few minutes more because I'm almost through my tub. But anyway, so that's what I mean when I say I have to work. I'm still working from home, and I probably will be working from home through the summer. Um, we have Zoom meetings, but um, but yeah. So it's just kind of like to keep in my brain, like, because otherwise I'll, like, clean the kitchen, you know, or, like, do stuff during the time when I want to be working. So anyway. Okay, so these are definitely a keep. Those will go in a flower frog on a shelf. All right, this little soldier guy. He's made in Japan. He's a vintage piece. And I think he's really cool. He's like a 1776 soldier. So he will get he will get put somewhere. And this is another ice cream mug. All right. Oh, I love this piece. This is uh, made in Finland. It has a lid somewhere, I think. I love this piece. Gorgeous. These are kind of spendy and I got it for a dollar. So that was a good find. I need to put it somewhere. I'm not going to break it. Oh, here's, I think this might be the lid. No, this is not the lid. I think there's a lid. I hope I didn't lose it. Who's this? I have no idea. Random, random. Probably going to donate this unless I can figure out what it's for. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is what I thought. So this piece that I showed you before is part of a little teapot like that. So you have your tea in your cup. That's cute. I like it. This color is not a true red. Why did I buy this? Sometimes I do that. You know, I'll see things with strawberries. I'm like, oh, I have to buy that. And then I'm like, oh, it really doesn't go with so I'm going to put this in the donate bin, I think, but I am going to wrap the pieces back up because that will definitely break. Oh, and it has a little chip on it. I should, I probably should not have bought that because it has a chip, but whatever. Oh, I like these. These are good for vignettes, for the patriotic vignettes. 
They're just a little salt and pepper shaker. Got these at a thrift store last year. I'm still into these. These are going in the keep pile. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh, I love this piece. This is another strawberry. So pretty. This is a um, Fenton piece. This is the first Fenton that I found. I didn't know what Fenton was when I found it, and then someone told me. Um, so that's definitely a keep. That's going to go with the strawberry stuff, and then I will go through all the strawberry stuff, but I know that I will keep that one because I really like it. Oh, this I found at the bins. Uh, it is W.S. George, East Palestine, Ohio. It's a children's bowl. Uh, I'm not feeling this, I don't think. Hi, Tammy! I'm going through my patriotic decor before the before my I start my work day, Tammy. Uh, I'm going to donate this. I'm not into it. Again, if you guys are into it, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just, I got to whittle down my collections, you know? Because thrifting season has started and I need room for new stuff that I like even better. So that's why I do this every year. Ah, here's the lid. Here's the lid. So this is my Finland piece, which I absolutely adore. A little spoon is supposed to go in there. I never had the spoon, but really cute. So that's a keeper. And why did I get this? You ever find things and you're like, why did I buy that? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> there you go. That's why I bought that. That's cute. That's a that's a keeper for sure. I really like that. It does have a little chip. But that's okay. I love that. Good morning from Tip City, Ohio. Hello, Roxanne. Nice to see you here. Okay, I've got a little coaster. Someone's sending me strawberry coasters. I'm so excited about it. I have one here. I think someone sent this to me. This will go with my strawberry stuff. We do actually use coasters in our house. Um, I know a lot of people don't. I don't have fussy furniture, but some of some of the furniture that I've painted gets ruined if you let like your cups really sweat on it. So, oh, here's the lid for the little teapot. All right, I'm gonna wrap all these back up eventually, like when I'm done with you guys. Um, this is adorable, but. The color red is not the color I'm going for. I really like the bright red. And so this is going to be a donate item. Found a vintage strawberry bread box at the Goodwill years ago. My husband loves it. He won't let me get rid of it. It doesn't match the rest of my stuff. That's really funny. Uh, that's funny because I was about to get rid of for my live sale, you know, that I did a few weeks ago, this vase that's in our bathroom because I'm going to a boho style in my bathroom. And I, this does not go. But my husband, he's like, where'd my vase go? And I was like, really? You even noticed that it was there because it's on his side of the sink? He's like, I like it. It reminds me of space tape from the 80s. I was like, okay, buddy, <laughs> you can have the vase. He has very few opinions about anything. So when he likes something, I'm like, ah. So I'm going to have a boho bathroom with, oh, I lost this one, with a uh, purplish, shiny, iridescent vase in there. And that's just going to have to be okay. <laughs> All right, we've got some strawberry items here. Oh, this is cute. This was a send. Someone sent this, I think. Or maybe I found this at a thrift store. I don't remember. He's cute. He'll be cute on a tray. And I don't... Oh! Oh, look at see. Oh, dear. I almost donated it. Now that makes sense. Okay, but here's the question. Are those strawberries, do you think? Or are they like tomatoes? I don't know. I guess they're strawberries. They're not very well done. I don't know. But it does have its little spoon. It's cute. I'm going to hold it. Again, I'm not going through the strawberry stuff yet. All right, I've got this. This is cute. It's got yellow. And I'm not sure what I would do with it. Probably going to donate this. Because I won't use it. And I don't like the yellow. So this is going in the donate bin. All right. Few more things and then we're done. All right, I've got my flag. It's properly folded. This was a gift from someone, so I just keep it in the military fold. And I set it on a shelf. Oh, off the donate. There we go. And I've got lots of little flags. 
Whoops, blowing things. I do stick these into, I've been showing you as we go along, I stick these into like vases or little, you know, cherry, uh, excuse me, jam pots and things. So, they have dimples there, strawberries. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so, these are all keep because I use them. Oh, these are great because these are good in crafts. I was actually wondering where they are. I'm working on some, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on like a patriotic assemblage that I'm working on. And I was wondering what I did with these. So I'm glad that I found them. More flags. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, if there's any gentlemen, I do have a lot of flags. There is no shortage of flags in my home. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is cute. This is my son's from when he was in Cub Scouts. Uh, my son and hubby built this. So, and now I just put it in a vignette. I think it's adorable. You could set a flag on it, you know, put it on a tray. And it's cute and it has sentimental value. So that's from when he was in kindergarten. Probably like right around this time. So maybe in a flower frog, I can put the picture near the car and then it just makes a cute little, you know, sentimental vignette. So, all right. Oh, this I found at a yard sale. It's really dirty. I don't know why I kept it. I just thought it was cool. It's really old. Uh, I could sell it probably. Not really sure. I don't love the yellow wheels. It's pretty dirty. Maybe I'll set it in the garden. I don't know. I'll look it up on eBay. I think I had looked these up. Oh, uh, Sandra. Yeah. I'm a, I'm kind of a little bit of a pack rat. You see, I'm getting rid of stuff. So I'm not a hoarder, but I am a little bit of a pack rat. I like to hold on to sentimental things. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm not sure about this. What do y'all think about this? Sell it, donate, put it in the garden. Anybody have any thoughts on that? I'm going to put it in the donate bin for now because it's not going as a donate bin. Like if I still have to go through and figure out what I'll sell and what I'll truly just donate. So, or what I'll put in the garden. I will rescue that mouse and put him in the garden. Just a few more things here, friends. Oh, I love this. This is another dollar horse. So you see, usually you put them out for Christmas. So it was unusual to have one in blue. But I think I found it at a yard sale. And here's the label. So these can be very expensive. But I think that's beautiful. And it, this does have yellow, but because it's a dollar horse, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to put that in the keep bin. And another plate. Again, I just put these like in a plate stand, maybe behind um, other things in front of it. You know, like you could do something like this. With this. You know, in a little thing, and you've got yourself a little vignette. So... That's why I get the plates if I find them with like reds or blues for the patriotic holidays. They just work well as like a little backdrop. Good morning from Columbus, Ohio. Oh, hi, Karen. Hi, Marilyn. Sorry if I've missed anyone in the chat. And here's just another plate, nothing exciting, but for the same reason, Gibson. So that, that's keep. Oh, no, no. No, I'm so bummed right now. Look at, I bought this last year. I love this picture and the glass is broken. Boo. Well, oh, and the frame broke. Oh, the whole kit and caboodle broke. What on earth? I didn't wrap it and it was in the bottom of a tub and I bet it just, I bet it took some shock like as my hubby, you know, moves stuff around or as I moved it or, you know, it gets put down a little hard. So that's a bummer, but I am going to keep the print and try to find a new frame. Bye, Katie. So I'll try to find a new frame for that. Um, and then I, that'll do it. I think that's it. We got to the bottom. This is my last thing. I'm not sure why this is randomly in here. This is really cool, but uh, I think I used this in the fall. I'm not sure because it has like apples. So this is just completely misplaced. Maybe I thought I would use it with the red and white. Maybe I will. I guess I could with the strawberry stuff. I don't know. I don't know. It's not patriotic, but oh, it could be. Actually, if you did like a little, that would be cute, actually. Look at these ideas. They're coming to me. That'd be cute. I'm going to put this in the patriotic bin and uh, figure it out. All right, guys. That's it. We got through it all. I hope you've enjoyed uh, hanging out with me this morning. I've enjoyed hanging out with you. Yes, I will. I'm definitely going to find a frame for that. 
Hello, Leanne. Good to see you this morning. And now I'm going to, oh, so just so you know, I did come up with a box of stuff to get rid of. This is my donate box. And then I have about the same size box of things I'm keeping plus the strawberry item. So I probably have like a box and a half of stuff from this big, this is the tub. I'll show you real quick. This is the tub that I went through. So I probably have like a box and a half from that tub and then a box that's going out. So, um, yeah, you gotta, you know, gotta move stuff out so you can move stuff in. That's, that's how we keep from being hoarders. So anyway, um, I hope this was enjoyable for you. It was fun for me to hang out with you all. I always love hanging out on this channel live because the, the chats, I, I actually feel like I'm with you guys and I can respond to comments. So anyway, um, I hope you're doing well. It's Thursday, right? Is it Thursday? Yes, it's Thursday. It's a beautiful day. I hope it's beautiful where you are. And uh, yeah, let this inspire you to, to go through some stuff, get rid of stuff so you can, can find things that you love more. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me, you all. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.